Hi guys, I'm Coach Taylor. I'm gonna be teaching you guys a whole bunch of shoulder stretches today so that we can make our bridges better. Um, the last video that I made was split stretches and we held those stretches for a lot longer. Today we're gonna to be holding these stretches for about 15 to 20 seconds, only two times. Your shoulders are more sensitive and more prone to injury, so we don't need to overstretch them. We just need to get a little bit more flexibility. Please ask your parents before you start this whole exercise program, it's always good to be respectful. And um, yeah, let's get started. So the first stretch that we're gonna do is a pec stretch. And you're gonna use your doorway for these next few stretches. You're gonna take your hand, thumb up, put it in the doorway, and then you're going to turn your body away. You should feel the stretch through here. I'm gonna move through these a lot faster than you guys, so feel free to hold any of these and pause the video when you need to. Next, we're gonna do, so then we'll go to the other side, do the same thing, thumb up, and then move open. Feel a stretch through here, hand at shoulder height. And then I'm gonna do pec minor. So I'm gonna take my hand, put it behind my head. I'm gonna put my elbow on the doorway here. And then it's the same thing, I'm gonna move my body away from the doorway. This one's a little more specific. I get numbness and tingling in my hand when I do this one, that's pretty normal. If you get those sensations, you probably need to do the stretch a little bit more. Again, don't overstretch though. And then on the other side, hand behind my head in the door frame and move away. Awesome, next is bicep stretch. When I do this one, I'm actually gonna turn my thumb down. So, I'm actually gonna switch sides for this one. Thumb down, grab the doorway for leverage, and then I'm gonna turn my body completely facing the opposite way, and then inch my hand up until I feel a stretch right here in the front of my shoulder, going forward down the arm, if that makes sense. It's very specific. Sometimes if you have tight biceps, you'll feel the stretch Go all the way from here, all the way to your elbow. That's normal too. Good. Next, we're gonna be doing upper trap. So what we're gonna do here is, I'll show you from the front and from the back. So from the front, I take this hand, I put it behind my back, grab it, pull it, and then I drop my ear to the side that's pulling. I should feel the stretch from here down to my shoulder. And then from behind, it's behind your back, grab the hand, pull, and drop the ear. Next, I'm going to do my internal rotation of my shoulders. So I'm gonna take my hand, put it up my back, take this hand and try to hook my fingers together. I'll show you from the back. Take this hand, put it up your back, Take this hand, try to hook your fingers. If you can't hook, that's okay. Next, I'm gonna take my neck stretch down to something like a chair or a bench. And, I'm, and this one's called prayer stretch. So I'm gonna take my hands, clasp them together. I'm gonna put my elbows on the bench and my head is gonna fall through the bench. If, and then I'm just letting my shoulders drop. If this feels good and I want more of a stretch, take your thumbs and put them on the back of your neck. It turns it into a little bit of a tricep stretch. Good. And then next, I'm gonna go through some seal and cat stretches that we'll all kind of mix together. So seal stretch here, I like to start with my elbows bent and push my chest open and then look up. And then next I'm gonna kind of transition into my cat stretch by kind of rolling through my spine and just kind of finding different arch positions. And then I go into my cat stretch. For cat stretch, you want your chin and your chest on the floor. We don't really want to have our forehead resting on the floor unless that's as far as you can go. But the goal is chin and chest. Get out of here. Crazy. Stay. So chin and chest. 
And then next I'm going to stay in my cat stretch and I'm turning this into a lat stretch. So your lats go from your shoulder all the way down your back. And so it's important that we make sure that we hit this stretch too. So this hand is gonna stay in cat. This one is going to lap. So I take my thumb and I put it up towards the ceiling and I'm just going to widen my stance and lean to that side a little bit. I should feel this stretch right in here in my shoulder. And then I'll go to the other side, cat and lap. Cool. And now I'm gonna take this into a rhomboid stretch. So I take this hand I weave it through, I weave it through, and then I drop my ear to the ground, and now I'm getting kind of a mid-back stretch here. And then what, what I want to do is I want to take this hand, reach it up to the ceiling, and if I can, I can add even more of a twist, depending on how flexible you are. But you should feel this in the middle part of your back. And I'll do that again on this side, I take this hand, I reach it up, through, and I kind of just hold this stretch for a moment, and then I'll go up and twist if I can. So the next few drills are bridge drills where I'm trying to increase my shoulder flexibility. First, I'm tapping my nose to the wall, then my chin, and then I'm gonna try and hold my chest to the wall with bent knees on my toes. I come down, rock and roll. Each one of these drills you can do about five times and then hold for five seconds. Next, I'm gonna do the same thing, but with straight legs, nose to the wall, pushing straight legs, chin to the wall is gonna be next. And then I'm gonna try and hold it with my chest against the wall, but I'm not quite flexible enough. So I just hold it with my nose to the wall. Rock and roll again, and then I'm gonna do a stretch here where I grab my feet and then pull back on my feet so that I get a stretch through my upper back.